It's another one of those days, and it's another one of those videos. Another person in Hollywood or the business industry blames Marvel for everything. It's all Marvel's fault. It's Marvel's fault. The same film you've been in three dozen times over, that's a rom-com, is not selling to people. So I'm out of the loop, but the last I knew, Ben Affleck's wife, Jennifer Lopez, who's a singer, songwriter, actress herself, is also not a big fan of Marvel. Shocking absolutely nobody, I would say. So in a recent interview, she was asked about the status of the industry. Of course, some of the recent films that haven't really performed as well as a lot of people thought they would perform. And of course, this involves her own output as well. And well, she pretty much did what everybody else in Hollywood does. If whatever you're in doesn't succeed, you just blame Marvel for ruining Hollywood. Even though on the other side, people praise Marvel because, well, without them, if you just take them out of the box office equation, year over year, every single year since Avengers would literally be one of the least profitable years. Marvel literally has held up the industry and helped save theaters. That's a known fact theaters have actually said this in their press releases they want more marvel because it saved the industry but she's not a fan of it so she's not a fan of marvel well i guess you can't say it was dc that ruined hollywood because yeah you know where i'm going with that one look you guys asked me to talk about this this is all i could say i honestly don't care like whatever look if you want eyes on your product, just blast Marvel and you'll get headlines everywhere. We've talked about this. This is this is like the new tactic. This is what you do. It gets you headlines. People talk about whatever you put out. The moment you blast Marvel, the industry looks at you because um, that's the only thing you can really do that everybody does. And it's just become commonplace these days. And it's really not that surprising at all. I mean, even people in Marvel movies have blasted Marvel movies at this point to promote something else. So like... Well, what else is new, right? You guys get what I'm saying? At this point, blaming Marvel is just kind of the standard thing. You just blame them for everything. And at the same time, you kind of get where these people are coming from. But also, you got to realistically look at the situation and realize that putting out the same film over and over, whether it's a rom-com or well, they're mostly rom-coms. It's like, oh, which guy is she going to fall for? I wonder if it's the rich one. Oh, no, of course not. She's going to go for the other one that's bubbly and funny. That film's been done like 300 times. The Avengers has been done like four times and one bootleg that didn't end up succeeding for the rival company. So, you know, one is fresh, one isn't. One manages to change genres every time they put out a new film. Well, that's all comic book films, really. And the others are the same exact rom-com. Like, I don't need to see it to tell you the exact plot of it. So maybe people are just sick of the same old and they're going to see things that they're interested in that are fresh and new. Because I don't know what rom-com that I've ever seen is going to introduce, I don't know, a purple-faced alien snapping away half the population. Never seen that one before up until Infinity War, but hey, there it was. 